Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we will be making a delicious short rib recipe. Remember for all the ingredients and measurements, it will be listed down below in the description box. Now, here is what you will need for today's recipe. Let's get started. Now here is what you will need. In my plate I have some carrots, I have two sets of onions, some diced and some finely chopped. I have here one piece of rosemary, I have some fine thyme, I also have garlic, ginger and bay leaf. I also have here some avocado oil, black pepper, adobo, complete seasoning and some beef bouillon. Now here I have some red wine, sugar, Chinese sauce flour, soy sauce, and butter. And here's a look at my short rib that I've already washed in some lime juice and salt. I also took some of the excess fat that I really don't like to cook. Now to get started, I'm going to go in with one teaspoon of adobo. You're then going to mix it to make sure that all the adobo is coated evenly on all the pieces of your beef. Then we're going to head over to the stove. Now today I will be using my Dutch oven pot. You can use any heavy bottom pot that you have in your kitchen. To that I am going to go in with about 3-4 to four tablespoons of oil and we are going to allow that to come up to a nice hot temperature. Now after the oil come up to a nice hot temperature, you are going to place a few pieces of meat in the pot. We are going to brown them on all sides. Browning the meat will ensure that you have a nice rich color throughout the cooking process. Now after you achieve a nice brown color as you see in here in the video, you are going to remove them and you are going to place them on the side and we are going to work on the next step. Now to my mortar and pestle, I went in with my garlic and I'm just going to smash it into small pieces. After you're done smashing them into small pieces, we're going to place that on the side and we'll move on to the next step. Now to my pot, I will be reusing the oil. You can remove some of the oil if it's too much for you. I also went in with two tablespoons of butter and I also went in with some flour. We are then going to cook the flour on medium low heat until the flour becomes nice and brown. We are basically cooking the rawness out of the flour. Now after achieving that nice color I'm going to go in with my bay leaf and I'm also going to go in with my finely diced onion. I've also went in with my thyme, my red wine and I'm going to go in here with some sugar. I'm also going to add in my Chinese sauce and my sweet soy sauce. Now after giving that a stir, I'm going to go in with my ginger and my garlic. We're then going to allow this to cook for about a minute or so and allow all the ingredients to release its flavor into the sauce. Now once everything is nicely infused, I'm going to go in with my water and I'm also going to go in with all of my dry ingredients. You're then going to cover your pot and allow the sauce or the gravy to come up to a boil. Once the gravy come up to a boil, you're then going to remove the cover and we're then going to add all the other ingredients to the pot. Such as the beef, the carrots and onion. I'm going to go in with a piece of rosemary and I'm going to go in with some more thyme. Now you just want to give that a stir. Make sure that all the meat and everything is covered under the gravy. Once everything is nicely covered, we're then going to cover our pot and we are going to place this in the oven. My oven is preheated to 400 degrees. Now after cooking for 2 hours and 40 minutes, the meat has got to the tenderness that I like. We're now going to remove the pieces from the pot 
and we're going to cook the gravy until it reduces to about half. Now after I remove the beef and the carrots, I went in with a hand strainer. I'm going to remove all the leaves and the stem from the pot. Now after removing the leaves and the stem, you're going to go ahead and cook the gravy until it has a nice smooth consistency like so. Now after achieving that nice consistency, you're going to go in with your beef and you're going to also go in with your carrots again. You're then going to glaze the top of the meat with the sauce from the or the gravy from the pot. You are going to allow this to cool down and it is ready to serve. Now here is a close up look at the end result. I do hope you enjoy watching this video as much as I enjoy making it for you all. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet subscribed for more delicious recipe. As usual, I want to say thank you for watching, goodbye, and I will see you in my next video.